What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, you guys asked for it. I got a couple of uh, comments in my previous video about wanting my thoughts on X Defiant, as a lot of people actually didn't get to play it during the beta. And honestly, I'm not calling anybody, any of you guys casuals, but a lot of my casual friends and a lot of people online who like just kind of play games here and there, or you know, maybe they just have like one or two games that they only play and they don't really like look out for new games. A lot of them like did not know that X Defiant was a thing, that it was free, that it was on all platforms. Like I feel like the marketing, and I said this before, the marketing on this game wasn't the best. You know what I'm saying? Like they really needed to, I don't know, spread this game to like TikTok or YouTube shorts or something like that. Instagram, I don't know. Like they have to spread this game more because like I said, like people just don't know about it or they have to like figure out how to get like some big streamers to play this game or something. I don't know. I'm sure that happened, but all, all this is to say that, um, yeah, I, I thought that a lot of people, you know, didn't actually know much about this game, didn't know about the title, uh, what it's about, all that stuff. So uh, I want to talk about it. Um, you know, if this is like the first video of, your, of mine that you're watching, you know, feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Okay, all that stuff's free. It helps out the channel and it encourages me to, you know, make more videos. But with all that being said, I kind of want to give an overall kind of review. Is X Defiant good? Is it for me? Is it going to be for you? What kind of people is X Defiant for? As well as just my thoughts on, you know, the streaks, the maps, the guns, uh, well, I guess the lack of streaks, time to kill, abilities, all that good stuff. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, first off, I want to talk about the matchmaking, okay? I didn't really see skill-based matchmaking in this game in terms of like, I didn't think I was getting stomped every other game. I didn't think that it was like a mercy period of like, oh, here you, you've had five bad games, here's a freebie game. You know, I, I didn't really feel that. However, I did feel team-based matchmaking. I did feel that they did their best, whether it was like, you know, if they knew that one guy was just like a, a 4KD, for instance, and, you know, he was stacked with a bunch of like 0.8s versus a team of like 1.5 to 2s KDs, you know, I feel like sometimes it felt like people were like carrying on my team. Sometimes it felt like the other team, there's only like one or two good people. Um, so I thought that was really interesting. I think that there is team based matchmaking, even if there's not skill based in this game, uh, which could lead to a lot of frustration if you're like one of the better players. Um, and I guess if you're one of the worst players, I guess it could help out as well. I honestly think that SBMM is probably in this game to a degree uh, as far as casual goes. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised, but it's probably way, 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 way tuned down in comparison to Call of Duty. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the maps. Overall, there's not many bad maps. I think that a lot of them were very three fa uh, three lane. A lot of them were very fast pace. A lot of the objective modes suited very well for this. Um, I think that I think I'm showing escort here in this gameplay. Um, I think the hard point game is is pretty good as well. Domination's not bad. Uh, so I think like. Yeah, I, I think that the maps are overall pretty good. Um, there's probably like one or two where there's like a, a little too many sight lines or something like that. But for the most part, like I said, um, I don't mind the maps whatsoever. Let's switch gears, talk about weaponry. Uh, we didn't have that many weapons. I think it was like four assault rifles, four subs, stuff like that. A few, uh, a few snipers, a few LMGs, you know, not, not too much to think around with. I'm sure we're going to get more at launch. Um, after all this, this was a beta. So for, you know, those of you who didn't know, didn't understand. Yeah, it was not the full game. I'm sure there's a lot more stuff coming out. Um, I'm excited for it. I think the maps and no, not the map. Sorry. I think the guns are not bad. Um, a lot of them don't have much recoil. A lot, of, a lot of them are very, you know, well-known names like ACR, MP7, SCAR, stuff like that, you know, like M4. A lot of them, you guys know what these guns are. You guys know kind of like the, the attributes of it, you know, whether it's uh, like a one-shot kill kind of thing or whether it's like a lot of like a high mag, but but like low damage, stuff like that, you know, like the, the P90, for instance. I, I think that they're all interesting. Um, nothing we haven't seen before, so nothing like crazy, uh, but still cool stuff. You know, it's it's better to have like more guns than less, of course. Um, and so I think that X Divine is going to deliver uh, in terms of guns. And I think that according to the roadmap, we're probably going to be seeing guns. I want to say every month, uh, if I'm not mistaken, maybe it's every two months, but I know every map or every month we're going to get a new map at least. Uh, so that's that's cool. Some cool stuff. Um, the thing I want to talk about next is time to kill. Speaking of weaponry and guns, I think that the time to kill is surprisingly too long. And I never thought I'd say this about a, a about an FPS shooter, but 
yeah, it doesn't seem like people go down very easily. And the bad thing about this is that like it's hard to take on multiple engagements at the same time. Um, I know a lot of people who are like, you know, good, just like, oh, aim for the head or whatever, you know, or like people who are sniping because honestly, the snipers are kind of OP this weekend. Not going to lie. Uh, it was a one shot to a lot of different parts of your body. That was uh, not the most fun to play against. But yeah, I think like yeah, the time to kill was just kind of kind of high. Um, and it just felt like, you know, you'd put in like sometimes a whole clip into someone. Uh, the tracking on PC was not the easiest. And, you know, just it just felt kind of bad. You know, it just felt like you were losing a lot of gunfights that you shouldn't have. At least that was my my perception. You know, let me know uh, in the comment section if you agree or disagree with that. You can also get me out, get at me on Twitter if you want to talk about stuff there as well. Um, another thing I want to talk about as far as X Defiant goes is actually the abilities. Um, I didn't think that the abilities were, okay, I don't wanna say that. I was gonna say they weren't super game changing, but honestly, they kind of were. You know, some abilities are definitely way stronger and way more useful, uh, especially for like objective game modes, which is good. You know, it's a good thing to have things that are like, hey, this is beneficial if you play this one game mode. You know, for instance, that moving shield or something like that. But I'm sure like in a, like a free for all game, that stealth class where you go invisible or where you can like see everyone lit up is like really nice as well. Um, you know, so I, I think it's good. Uh, I just think that there's some abilities that are definitely weaker. Some are definitely stronger. I'm sure they're going to tune these. I, I don't know for sure if like Mark Ruman talked about this on Twitter. He does talk a lot. He does respond a lot. So, you know, forgive me for not being completely up to date there. Uh, side tangent here. A lot of people are coming at me in the comments recently like, uh, if you don't know everything about the game, then uh, why are you making a video about it? Dude, shut up, dude. Like, get a life, bro. Oh my God. Dude, you think I, like, YouTube is not my job, okay? <laughs> All I'm here, I'm, I'm not, literally no different from like any other gamer out here on, 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 um, or on like the internet, I guess, you know, I'm literally just a dude who plays video games. People act like I'm supposed to be like uh, uh, like a drifter or an exclusive ace about the subject. Guys, I don't care. I don't play video games that much. OK, I'm just out here because I think it's fun to, to talk about them, um, to try new games and, and just like talk about. Uh, honestly, I don't even try new games. I really just play Call of Duty and a few other games. Uh, obviously, I'm going to give X Defiant a good shot here, but yeah, just if you're gonna type in the comment section, uh, actually, you said the ACR has 30 bullets, but it has 35, so uh, you're done. Like, dude, get a life. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not. I don't even respond to those comments. Like, you make me laugh sometimes here and there, but like sometimes, like multiple people in the same video, dude, just <laughs> give it a rest, guys. There's actually been some debate going on recently about whether or not there needs to be streaks in the game. I saw Mark Rubin did reply to this um, and he was just like, yeah, we want something along the lines of like Call of Duty streaks, but we don't know how strong to make it and all that stuff. Plus, um, all of your faction operators have like their own abilities, uh, so we don't want to make it like too chaotic out there, which I totally get. I honestly think if you just have a limited amount of streaks that are like useful, like don't spam the game with like useless streaks, kind of like Call of Duty does a lot these days, right? They have like 15 streaks, but only like four or five are usable. Like, what's the point? You know what I mean? Just make like five streaks, maybe seven streaks, something like that. Give some people like the option of choice and then just <laughs> that's it. You know, maybe like a three, five, seven, maybe a 10 or a 15 if you get like really hot or something like that. Or honestly, just literally just do like the, the COD 4 formula where you just do three, five, seven, and then just have like a nuke option. If you get like a 25 streak, you know, that's, that's all something, uh, that's all people can go for. So just give like a UAV, a missile and like a chopper. That's literally it. You could literally just rip off Call of Duty in that case. A lot of people are saying this game is already a rip off. I mean, like, why not just, you know, continue pursuing that? Uh, you know, what's the point anymore? Um, I, I think that streaks are, are fun and I think that they're going to be useful in this game. I don't see the huge dilemma. You know, I, I know a lot of people are like, oh, don't don't put streaks. It's going to mess things up. It's going to mess up the balance. I think that these guys, these developers are definitely smart enough to not mess with the balance. I think that these guys, you know, they definitely play their game. They definitely recommend classes. I saw Mark Rubin, uh, like on one of the first days of the beta, it was like, oh, this is actually my favorite P90 class. And he just put, he just put it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? when's the last time you saw a COD developer not only talk about his game, but post a picture about his game? Like, that is crazy. You know what I mean? Like, I just remember seeing like Joe Sika talking about like World of Tanks or something like that. Like, dude, play your own game. Talk about your own game. Like, show some pride. Show some, uh, you don't have to do it every single day, but like, oh my God, you're going to talk about another game before you talk about your own. That's just crazy 
I think streaks should be uh, in X Defiant, but that's pretty much it for the video. I, I don't want to be too harsh on this game because after all, it's free to play. If you don't know, it's free to play on all uh, platforms. I think there's input based matchmaking as well. So like if you only want to play against controller players or only against keyboard players, you can easily do that. That's that's sick. You know what I mean? Uh, lobbies apparently stick together as well. So, you know, there's no disbanding for zero reason like Call of Duty introduced. Honestly, they got, they got a lot of things going for this game on paper. Is it good? I think it's not bad, you know? I think it definitely needs some work, but I, I'm still down to give it a try. I think it's very fun with friends. Uh, solo, it might not be the best cup of tea for everybody, but like I said, I think it's it's not for everybody, but so far, so good. I think X Defiant right now is probably like about a seven and a half out of 10 game for me. You know, it's, it's not like an amazing game, but it is playable. And as of right now, I'd recommend it to a friend. So let me know what you guys think about this assessment in the comment section down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, man, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Leave a comment in the comment section and peace out.